All right, guys, if you have been someone who was not living under a rock, you probably know that SHOT Show was essentially either this week, the week that I'm filming this video is the SHOT Show, and um, there have been a lot of knife releases and a lot of knives featured. Now, some of them we'll get to in a second video, but in this video, I wanna stay positive, happy, and look on the bright side and talk about knives that I am super excited for in 2023. Now, most of them are new releases, but I wanted to throw the Hogue Deca in on this list too, because I feel like this knife doesn't get enough uh, press and does is kind of flies under the radar. So anyways, let's jump into knives that I'm excited for for 2023. Now, unfortunately, I don't love making videos like this because I don't really have any of these knives and that's because most of these knives aren't even available right now. But these are knives that were shot showing at SHOT Show 2023 that I'm excited for. So the first one for me is the Kershaw Live Wire. Now the Live Wire is probably one that is one of my most excited for and that is essentially a OTF that's made out of 20 CV made in the US by Kershaw and it comes in at about $250. Now the reason that excites me is because honestly if you know OTFs you know that essentially Pretty much for the most part, um, Microtech has been dominating that space. And don't get me wrong, I have a good deal of Microtech Ultratechs and Microtech knives. I have had them throughout the years and they're not bad. It's just no one else is really making a contender or a challenger to the Ultratech. So it's really cool to see someone like Kershaw out there making a contender to the Ultratech at a really good price. And once again, 20 CV steel is pretty fantastic for the offering especially, like I said, coming in at a USA made and $250 price range. The next one up for me and one that I think a lot of people are going to overlook is going to be the ProTech PT Plus. Now, I'm kind of confused about the naming for the PT Plus. Those who are familiar with Strider knives know that the PT is essentially the scaled down version of the SNG. So I don't really know what a PT Plus means. Like, is it going to be SNG sized? I, I don't really know. But I am excited for it because of two reasons. One, it's an auto PT made by ProTech, and also it is going to be in Magna Cut. Now, I am going to get into another video talking about Magna Cut. It's not the end all to beat all steel, in my opinion, but it is really exciting to see a company like ProTech, who's very experienced with Magna Cut, make a Strider um, collaboration that is going to be around the size of a SNG but automatic and out of an amazing steel. So I'm really excited for the PT Plus. I know, like I said, that one probably flew under the radar for most people, but I noticed it and I liked it. All right, next one up is one that has been probably surfacing everywhere, and that is the Microtech Stitch with the Ram Lock. Now, in fairness, they also released another knife that I'm blanking on the name of that it more was kind of the showcase for the Ram Lock, but they are also, uh, releasing the Stitch, which is a already pre-existing automatic um, in the Microtech lineup, but they're releasing it with the Ram Lock. Now the Ram Lock, some people will say is similar to the Axis Lock, and it's actually more closely related, um, at least from what it looks like. Once again, no one's really handled them. Uh, it looks more closely like something in the Spyderco Manix 2 style locking mechanism, but what I'm really excited for is similar to the Live Wire, I've made videos about how I'm so tired of seeing you know titanium frame locks and so i'm really excited to see something like the ram lock come out because it's something different it's something new and it is a different type of lock even if it's similar to things like the manix 2 and the axis lock it's just nice to see higher end knives in the 250 to 300 dollar range that are genuinely innovating so that's why i like the ram lock um, and that's why i like the microtech stitch with the ram Lock. Now, like I said, I did throw the Hogue Deca and Magna Cut on this list. This is not a new knife for 2023 or SHOT Show. The Deca has been around for a while in Magna Cut, and it also had, there is a 20 CV option for this. I think this is a really nice knife though. It's worth talking about, and a lot of people don't mention it, but it's a serious contender to beat the Benchmade Bug Out. Now, I'm gonna do an individual video 
on these two themselves, but I wanted to throw the DECA in here because it's something I actually own. And I can show it. All right, so next one up is going to be the Kershaw Launch 15. This is one that I personally just like Kershaw's lineup of automatic knives. They're usually fairly affordable in good steel and once again, USA made. So I like the 15 quite a bit. I'm pretty excited about it. And the Kershaw Iridium is gonna be the last one. Now I know there were three Kershaws on this list, um, but that's because out of all the knife makers and venues for SHOT Show, I really liked a lot of Kershaw's offerings. Like what I saw a lot from Spyderco, for instance, was they're releasing the Spyderco Para, or sorry, Military 2, and essentially it's just an upscaled Paramilitary 2. Not to say that it's not a good knife or that it won't sell out. It's just a knife that doesn't really innovate on anything. It doesn't really like blow my mind. It doesn't wow me. Um, and so a lot of that is kind of that from Spyderco. They're just kind of new additions of pre-existing knives. So some of that could be said, you know, about like the Microtech stitch, but it is genuinely like a new locking mechanism and a different style blade. So anyways, that's why I'm kind of leaning towards Kershaw in this video because they're just bringing the heat this year. Once again, with the Iridium, if I remember correctly, that has a semi, you know, Benchmade Axis-esque lock on it. So, you know, arguably there are going to be a lot of companies ripping the Axis lock off. But as I've talked about in other videos, I really don't hate that because a lot of people will be Benchmade loyalists and to those guys, you're just weird. But a lot of people will be Benchmade loyalists and be like they invented it it's their lock and that is true they did invent it but and they did patent it i should say but it's really nice and very refreshing to see companies take that lock make it something like the able lock for the deca and really like see good knives being made by other companies that you know use that locking mechanism because it's a good lock i really like the axis or it's many iterations like the able um in different companies. So I really do like seeing it. Um, the Kershaw Iridium is just another example. So those are kind of my top knives from looking at SHOT Show. There are ones I'm sure I missed. And definitely let me know in the comment section below what knives you saw at Ker or at SHOT Show 2023 that you are excited for. Um, those are, this is my list, but yeah. Anyways, guys, as always, God bless. And I'm